now your eyewitness weather forecast. Name Weather Rate's most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good morning. It may be a cold and a windy day, but we're finally starting to see some more sunshine begin to break through the clouds, and those will continue to break up as we go through the rest of today. So if you're still stuck in the cloud cover at this point, which there are some spots, don't worry. Over the next couple of hours, we'll see some sunshine. Here are drums at Drums Elementary Middle School. Plenty of blue sky, few clouds that are mixing in. Take a look at the temperature, though, at 29. Factor in the wind, and it's bouncing around the lower 20s and feeling more like it's even in the teens at time, which is something we're going to continue to see through the rest of today. Now, temperatures are in the 20s and 30s. Pottsville, we're at 34. Sealands Grove, 36. Mount Pocono, 22. And wilkes Brevi and Scranton at 28. But, of course, we have to factor in the wind, which is making it feel more like it's in the 20s, the teens, but even the single digits, especially up in the northern tier and those higher elevations. So the wind is still a factor today. Now, something we will see through this afternoon, the wind does slowly begin to back off a little bit. It won't be quite as gusty as this morning, but it's still going to be around and it's still going to be quite the factor through this afternoon. Here's our visible satellite and there's where the lingering cloud cover is right now. It's up in the northern tier, cutting up into the northern portions of the Wyoming Valley as well and even down into the Poconos a little bit, but elsewhere out in the Susquehanna Valley south of Interstate 80. It's looking pretty good. Plenty of sunshine, but these clouds that are hanging around right now are slowly beginning to break apart a little bit more. So some sunshine is in order. We still do have a couple of flakes coming down in the northern tier. At this point, they're really not amounting of too much of anything and not going to cause any problems. Now, as far as the temperature is concerned, we're not going to get that much better today. It's going to really hang out right around the freezing mark for the middle of the row because there will be some spots, obviously, that stay in the 20s, like the northern tier and the higher elevations. But we already saw spots that are in the mid 30s out toward the Susquehanna Valley. And it's this area of low pressure that's pulling cold air down from the north, and it's actually helping that wind pick up as well. But an area of high pressure has something to say about that. As this continues to settle in later today and tonight, that relaxes that wind, it clears that sky out a little bit more, and then tomorrow will sort of go the other way. What we're going to see is we're going to keep the sunshine with a few clouds mixing in, but more warmth begins to come back in. Warmer air, it's going to be much more comfortable, and the wind dies down much more going into tomorrow. However, that does not stick around for long because we do have some showers coming on Thursday. Thursday does start off dry, but later in the day Thursday, we'll have a couple of showers come through. Then we'll start to see some steadier and even some heavier downpours make their way through. That will happen Thursday evening and through Thursday night. As Friday comes around, this area of low pressure continues to move up to the north and the east. Now, it looks like there will be some good dry times during that, but we'll get a parting gift. Colder air comes in behind that and even a couple of snow showers for Saturday and Sunday. 32 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. Windy, cold, and mostly too partly sunny as that the clouds continue to break up. Tonight, 20 for the overnight low. It's mostly clear. It's cold and less windy as that wind really starts to relax that much more. 42 with plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Thursday, we'll have a couple of showers. Friday, there's more rain to come at 56. Colder Saturday and Sunday, each day with a snow shower. The first day of winter, Chris, is Friday, 56. Something's not right. A balmy 56, not going to feel like it. No. Thanks, Stephanel. Tragedy on the tracks. Two Chicago.